Oh babe, that's so sweet. You even made some pancakes for the dogs. Okay guys, this is an undercover mission. So we're loading up the babies. Happy birthday! <laughs> A lot of people have been asking us to do kind of like a day in the life. I am starting my day right now. It is 8.14. Luckily, oh, I think I hear a baby. Our kids are all really good sleepers, and so they normally sleep until about 8 o'clock. And then I, I wake up, I feed the babies upstairs, and a lot of times they'll fall back asleep until like 9.30, 10 o'clock even, so that's great. But first thing I do is feed the babies in my room. Then I brush my teeth, and then I go into the baby's nursery and grab all fresh blankets, clean burp rags, bibs, and new clothing for them. So that's what this is. And then I bring it downstairs uh, one by one. If the babies are up, I'll bring them downstairs, change them, get them dressed. That's how I start my day. So this is my kitchen in the morning. So many formula pitchers and bottles. All the blankies and their fresh burp rags, and here is their clothing. I normally just lay a blanket down and set it up for like a changing station. I change them and get them all dressed for the day. I will change it with Dio. You roll in Dio. Um, and then I have the monitor on the others upstairs, so I will kind of just listen for them um, for when they wake up. Dio is all changed and clean, and I think I hear Cecilia on the monitor, so I'm going to go and get her. Cecilia is awake. Say hi, Cecilia. Cecilia is awake, so I am going to go change her, and then I'll start making breakfast. Cecilia, say hi, sister. So Cecilia is all dressed. Hi, girly girl. Hi, girly. Bring up toots. Whoa. Sister, sister. Let's move it. Don't get fucked. Ew. What are you making some pancakes? Yes. Cool. <laughs> it's hard because like I don't have everything in my kitchen. You know? But... Oh, like the bowls and stuff? Yeah. Just like yeah. Mixer. Our stuff is scattered all over the place. Are y'all done mixing your eggies? Yes. Yeah. Like a whisk? I cannot find a whisk. <laughs> so, making do. Story of our lives. Eight ow. <laughs> so I'm just gonna make some eggs and some pancake and some fruit for the kids and some orange juice. So I'm just making some scrambled eggs and some pancakes for the kids. Pretty girls, all in one room. Ooh. Here, I'm gonna hold this for you because I don't want to get Mr. Bear and Blanky dirty. Okay? That was yummy, Mr. Bedhead. What do you guys say? Good job. <laughs> Such nice manners, guys. It's a big bite. I want juice. <laughs> I want juice, please. I don't want juice. Yeah, this one's yours. It's full. Yummy. I don't want juice. Oh, babe, that's so sweet. You even made some pancakes for the dogs. When you have a large family, you sometimes burn the pancakes. No, no, no. You made them for the dogs, right? Oh, Bubba. <laughs> Are you protecting your big sister? <laughs> That's so cute. So I just finished breakfast. Everybody just ate. I am going to get 2D, L, and Henry dressed. And we have some plans to go to Nanny's once all the other babies are up because they're still not awake yet. Got 2D dressed. Now I am going to brush your hair. Yes, thank you, Connor. Connor, get me your boots. 
Hold it. So you can see us. Hold it like here, right there. What are we doing? Are we brushing your hair? Yeah. Okay, you look gorgeous. Thank you. So now I have to get Henry dressed. He is like a crocodile. Oh, you look gorgeous. You're right. Let's see a spin. Woo! Woo! Henry, come here. We're gonna go see Nanny. Let's get dressed. Come on. Oh my gosh, he's coming. Thank you. Good job. Good listening. Henry is all dressed and ready to go. Good job, Henry. <gasps> Handsome boy. You all dressed? Yeah. Okay, we just have to do your hair. Tootie, you're dressed. Yeah. We just need to do P and Aiden. Yeah. Don't worry about our basement. It is a hot mess down here today. Yeah. Those are all the babies. Yeah. Yeah. Out of them. Okay, so all the big kids are in the car. We watch, we leave the door open so that we can see them while we load up the babies. So we're loading up the babies. I'm gonna go to be with them in the car, and Jake's gonna grab the other two. Got the cupcakes. So we are all in the car, and we are ready to go to Nanny's to wish her a happy birthday. Just getting Henry buckled in, Jake's just checking his buckle, and then we are going to go to Nanny's. Nanny and Pappy were being, Jake's parents were being very careful. They were actually quarantining before they saw us. So it's not just you being careful, you know, you have to think about all the people that you're hanging out with because they might not be being careful. Yeah, unfortunately, we probably won't see her for about a month, so that's really sad. But at least we get to see her from the sidewalk, right guys? Yeah. What are you, are we gonna sing her happy birthday? Yeah. Okay. And, and what are we gonna drop off? We're on our way to Nanny's. We have to sneak around because she, they have a ring doorbell. <laughs> so they're gonna see us. So we have to sneak around to set up the camera. Okay guys, this is an undercover mission. So we must, <laughs> we must stay stealthy and quiet. Yeah, you do, here. Up on the sidewalk. And stay right there. Okay, hey, go take up, up in the subway. Come here, bud. Come on. Step down and jump. Good job. Here. Up on the sidewalk, guys. Up on the sidewalk, please. Jump, bud. Here. Up on the sidewalk. And hold Henry's hand, please. All right, guys. We have to stay quiet until we're ready to sing happy birthday, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, are you guys gonna sing to Nanny? Yeah. yeah! Henry, her house is over here. Hey, babe. Hey guys. Okay, nope. stand right here on the side. Of the on the side of the side of over here, guys. You guys ready to sing to Nanny? Ready? Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Yay! We just got home. We are just changing the babies and feeding them, and then we're going to put them up for naps. We, you know, before when they were younger, it was like a free for all. Whenever they happen to nap, it's just when they napped and they always nap down here. Um, but now, lately, we've been trying to take them upstairs into the nursery for at least one nap a day. And that's normally between, what would you say, like one and three, yeah. I feel like is when they go up. So we are gonna take them up for a nap. Elle, Henry, and Connor, as soon as we got home, we washed our hands and took off their shoes and stuff and took them right up for naps. P and Aiden are downstairs watching TV in their rooms and they're having some rest time. All of the babies have eaten their food. I just took Theo up for a nap and I am going to take the others up now. While they're napping, I normally grab all the bottles from upstairs if we haven't gotten them already and I throw on some loads of laundry and then I kind of do like a 10 to 15 minute sweep of the house and just clean up like all their burp rags and all, 
you know, all their clothes, if they're dirty, let and left in the living room. I just clean everything up kind of in the house. And then I will normally start a project, like I'm gonna fold a bunch of laundry that we have. I think after that today, we are going to work on the cabinets. So that is our project for the day. I just brought all the bottles down from upstairs and I started a load in the dishwasher and I started a load of laundry upstairs and I cleaned up the kitchen and the living room and I have the Roomba running. Now I think I'm gonna go and fold. I have like a bunch of laundry up there, so I think I'm gonna go and fold that. The babies only normally nap for like 45 minutes to an hour upstairs, so I don't have that much time. It is now five o'clock and Beck is awake and Theo is awake. Theo is eating right now. Beck just ate. Tootie is awake. Henry is awake and P is up here as well. Silas and Cecilia are still sleeping. I am gonna start making some dinner. Yeah. Yeah. Don't mind all that stuff on the couch, it's because I have the Roomba going. I don't want it. I don't like it when it runs over their play mats and stuff, so. So what do you want to have for dinner, honey? I want to have mac and cheese. You always pick mac and cheese. <laughs> My love you. So Cecilia is awake now, and Silas and Beck. And Bibio, Henry, and P are awake, so they are eating dinner first. Normally we all eat dinner together, but it's kind of been hectic with Aiden is sick. This, yeah, and Aiden has a belly ache. So I got it. Hopefully, what are you having today? Mac and cheese, what else? Hopefully. What else? What else? What? Mac and cheese and watermelon and some, what are those? They're like, they love these, they're like yeah. these organic Cheeto I things. So not the healthiest dinner, but it's okay. I actually think I hear Silas, so I am going to go and get him awake. Get him up.